14 out of the first 22 games in the IPL 2022 have been won by the teams chasing. Yes, some because of due, but some because of sheer brilliance by the chasing teams. What strategy are they using? Are they taking the game deep? Or are they in control of the run chase by closing the gap between the required rate quite early in the run chase? Let's deep dive and analyze into this aspect. In this upcoming visual, you will see team-wise how many times have they successfully chased down a target and what has been the enormity of the target that they have chased. As you can see, RCB and KKR have the highest number of run chases that they have successfully hunted down. But the required rate has been between 7, 7.5, which isn't a very threatening or a daunting required rate. And at the other way around, look at Lucknow and Gujarat Titans. They have chased down two real daunting targets. And that's why their average chasing rate is as high as between 8.5 to 9 runs and over. So that's been a commendable start for their IPL journey. And also to call out, Punjab Kings have done a massive run chase of about 200 plus, which is reflecting there in the right hand side of the graph. Let's understand a concept known as differential run rate. Now what is differential run rate? Now, Differential run rate simply means what is my current scoring rate and what is my original required run rate when I am chasing down a score. The difference between these two is purely differential run rate. In my analysis, I have looked at the differential run rate at two points. Firstly, at the 10 over mark and secondly, at the 15 over mark to see where is the gap versus the original asking rate and how are the teams maintaining this. So let's have a look at how what happens in a successful run chase thus far and what has happened in a failed run chase and a couple of very very interesting things which will come up. In this visual for successful run chases you will see two amazing patterns. You will see except Gujarat Titans and Lucknow Super Giants all other teams have not been too far away from the original required rate. You see the gap is quite minimal at the 10 over mark for each of the teams except Gujarat Titans and Lucknow Super Giants. But when you move to the 15 over mark, the gap is minimized. The gap is much much smaller from the required rate, which means they are in control of their run chase and they are very close to where they want to be at that stage. For Lucknow Super Giants and Gujarat Titans, it's a very very interesting pattern. They are not too far away at the 10 over mark versus their required rate. But look what happens to them at the 15 over mark. They have in fact widened the gap and they have increased the gap. Which means they are making themselves harder to run chase. But eventually they have been able to run chase, uh, chase it down. So that's kudos to David Miller and Tevatia from Gujarat Titans. And kudos to Huda, Badoni, Krunal Pandya from Lucknow Super Giants' side which is quite an amazing feat to hunt down a target even while you are going away from the direction which you want to be in. For failed run chases, we see a very common story in most places in this upcoming visual. It tells you that most teams have had a huge backlog at the end of the 10 over mark and that backlog is not really closed down that swiftly when they reach the 15 over mark. The gap and the backlog is huge for all of these teams. One interesting thing is for Mumbai Indians and Delhi Capitals during their run chases when Rajasthan Royals and Gujarat Titans were defending, you see that they weren't too far away from the required rate, both at the 10 and the 15 over mark. But unfortunately, they did not have that grandstand finish that could help them cross the line. And the key message here, it, what it tells you is that if the backlog and if you keep that much of a gap and if you don't stay within striking distance with your required rate, it is eventually going to hurt you in the run chase and you get overwhelmed when you get closer to the target. Please share your comments, your feedbacks and please subscribe and share if you like this content. Have a good day. 
and and take care